Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing my second Arduino tutorial and we are going to be learning how to set up your Arduino. This will involve setting up the software, making sure it all runs right, I'll give you some uh, pointers on how it all works, so let's get started here. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the Arduino homepage. That's arduino.cc and you'll come to this splash page here. So it uh, has a bunch of stuff. You can buy a board and stuff like that. But we're going to go to the download tab. And we're going to download whatever uh, executable we need. For me, it'll be Mac. So I'm just going to click download for Mac. Like I said, though, all of the, uh, the IDE is exactly the same regardless of what operating system you're on. So the setup is always the same here. Okay, so the software is all done downloading. And you're going to install it just like you would uh, any other program. So if you're on Mac, you'll know how to do that. If you're on Windows, you do it the same exact way. So I'm going to drag it in right in there. It's under my programming guy here. I have Arduino. So what you're going to do is open this, same as in Windows. It'll be in your Start menu. And you'll see this screen. So this is the Arduino IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. It's very similar to something like Xcode. This is how you write your Arduino program. So you'll see some buttons here I'll go through. This is the verify button. Make sure your code is doesn't have any errors in it. And I'll go through that more in the next episode of writing your first program. This is the upload button. Just uploads it to the board. This is the new file button. So if you do this, you actually get a completely new, um, a new file. And this one says 1B, but it's really the same thing. This is open, this is save, and this is open the serial monitor, which I will talk about in a little bit when I do serial communications. So, basically, what we're going to do, we're not even going to write a program today, we're just going to upload a test program. The test program I like to use is called Blink. So to get to that test program, you're going to click the File menu, and this is exactly the same on Windows. File, go to Examples, Basics, Blink and it'll open this. And so you can take some time and look through the code. It's pretty simple how it works. It just uses an LED, uses a delay, and it changes the state from high to low. Now all we're going to do is upload this to our Arduino to make sure our Arduino is hooked up and working properly. So let's take a minute here and set up our Arduino with our computer. Here's our Arduino board and we're just going to take our USB cable, have the B-shaped USB cable, just plug it into the USB port there. Then the other end goes into the computer. Now at this point, you'll probably see some installing hardware messages, especially if you're on Windows, if this is the first time plugging in your Arduino. Don't worry about it, it'll all go well. And once that's done, we'll move on here. So we're gonna upload the Blink program now. We're back in the IDE here and to upload it we're gonna do a few things to make sure everything's configured properly first we're gonna to go to tools board and make sure your proper board is selected so depending on your board be sure to put that at least the correct class of your board and then serial port and you're gonna to wanna to click the one that looks weird so I have Bluetooth Bluetooth modem and then this one USB modem FA 131 so this is my Arduino and you can try around if you have a couple different uh, weird looking ones, but you just find the correct serial port the Arduino's on. And then we're going to click upload here. So you'll get this little message that says compiling sketch with a bar. In the console, you'll see binary sketch size is 1004 bytes, blah, 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 the maximum. I'll explain all that in the next episode when we write a program. And if we look at our board, we can see that the little LED next to our digital pins is blinking. And this verifies that our board is working correctly. The program uploaded without any problems. We didn't get any errors in the IDE. So this means that you're ready to start rolling with the real programs. You can start writing your own stuff here. Uh, my next tutorial is going to be on writing our own first program. Probably whip up something interesting but not too complicated that doesn't require too many peripherals. That way you can still do it even if you only bought the basic board. So, as per the usual, if you have any questions, let me know. Comments, criticisms, I guess, but I'm not really, you know, just kidding. Uh, other than that, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we will see you next time.